hey guys what's up everybody welcome or welcome back again to another training session with apex selenia from the apex predator billiards training club and youtube channel i am apex selenia of course um the sole member of this training club um apex predator billiards of course is a brand that i have created i am the founder and of course i am currently the leading well obviously not leading because i'm the only member of the club all right so what we do at apex predator is that we aspire to become really good pool players and of course um i do have a quite a bit of followers persons who have been following my career for the past 10 years i have been training really hard but i've recently just made a commitment that i want to go all in with the sport all right so i'm about to take you into a training session where i'm going to be doing cue ball prediction and cue balls part using different aspects of the cue ball the vertical axis along with the lateral axis and of course shooting in between the quadrants of the cue ball sounds a bit complicated but what i'm really trying to say is that i'm going to be determining the cue balls part um whenever i hit center center highs center low low left low right center left center right top left top right hope i said that correctly so that's what i'm going to be doing in this drill it's a drill that i have never done before so currently what i'm doing here is that i am finding the line of the shot i'm going through a pre-shot routine there's many things going on here i'm actually training my mind to do the correct thing when i'm playing a shot so a lot of things are happening here i will demonstrate to you um different things that are happening on each shot but for now let's jump into the shot i'm about to play what i'm doing right now guys is that i am trying to determine the tangent line it's a technique that i learned seeing um actually a younger player than me i saw him doing it and of course um it's where you predict the tangent line of the cue ball and that is where you hit the cue ball in the center and upon impact with the object ball the cue ball is sliding and that is a 90 degree path all right so that's what i'm doing here i have i'm trying to predict now i actually made an incorrect prediction i predicted that the ball was going to go to the first diamond where the chalk is at the moment but in fact it's going to go to the center diamond there or there about i'm not feeling so comfortable and stable so i reset myself follow through stable bridge stable stance head down and nice smooth stroke in here and let's see what happens focus nice that cue ball played real nice real nice now in training guys here's what's happened you're going to make errors you're going to make incorrect predictions but the important thing here is that you will learn you're not saying that oh i know this and you're doing it for the crowd to see that yes i know it it's all about what you have to go through to become a better player because it's exactly what i am going through to become a good to become a good player so right there i made an incorrect prediction i recognized i submit and i said yes i've learned now that i know where the correct tangent line is which is near to the uh center diamond on the short reel i am going to be playing a follow shot at the moment i'm going to give this um i think i'm going to give this two attempts no no i think i'm going to give this one attempt the technique you see i'm using there is of course dr dave billiards p sign rule where you place your uh second finger in the direction of the cue balls part naturally and then the index finger will point you to the part where the cue ball is going to go so here i predicted that the cue ball is going to go near or in between the first diamond and the pocket looks like it's about to scratch i'm not sure but i think i made the correct prediction here so this is going to be my first successful um prediction and that was correct i thought during the shot while measuring the shot i thought that it was going to scratch but then I realized that yes, um, I had the wave of my stick a little bit as you can see there 
and I knew that it was going to touch the rail, but I wasn't sure if it's going to um, pick up extra roll and scratch, but I'm going to give myself a point for that. I did make that correct prediction, so that was good for me. Alright, so let's go into the next shot, which is going to be me playing a draw shot. Now, there is where I already know where the tangent line is, and I know that with um, draw, and I'm not putting a lot of draw, I'm actually playing in between center and draw. So this is what we call a stun shot. I'm going to be stunning this ball slightly, so it's not going to pick up as much draw effect of the tangent line. It's just going to follow the tangent line for a bit and then it's going to swerve off below the tangent line near the first diamond now i'm going to give this two attempts the first attempt when i play the shot um boom there it came off two reels and I, I i was saying to myself nah something is not right um it, i'm not sure if i did something wrong it looks like it had a bit of low left on it slightly so i decided that um I want to try the shot again because with repetition brings consistency and with consistency it goes into your memory bank so there now what I'm doing I know that right at that spot there so that's where the draw will take me well not draw will actually stun will take me and now I want to do it again so if I get the same result then I know that I hit the cue ball the same place um twice so let's see nice off two years very good so right there and then you can see now that um the first time i did it i i, I did it correctly but i wasn't sure i didn't feel good i took a second attempt and then i now acknowledge myself okay then um it was the angle to which i set the cue ball why it had to come off two rails I'm actually playing a shot into the side here, 22 and a half degrees, there they are about. And so it's not a steep cut, it's more of a shallow cut. So the angle coming off the first reel is going to be coming off slightly at about 22 and a half degrees also. Alright, so there you see I've done it. Now, um, I'm going to be playing for you here, center left. And of course, the first shot I play, I'm actually going to miss it, simply because um, here's where you're learning during the process of training that, um, number one, I missed the shot simply because I did not compensate for the deflection of the cue ball. So I missed the first shot. And um, you, you might see that I'm a little bit disgusted with myself slightly, like you can see it in my demeanor. Right, so I really... I really butchered that shot. I really hit the cue ball too hard. I had way spin on it. You can see how I just um, hammered the cue ball across the rails just to get back to me because I'm disgusted. But I'm just going to reset myself here. I'm now reminding myself that, hey, Apex, this is training. You're learning. So don't get too emotional about you doing something wrong. Now is the time to do it wrong. So now I'm going to attempt again. Um, it's gonna be better. So what the, what's gonna happen here is that the cue ball is going to go off two rails, right? It's gonna give the same effect, um, a little bit like draw, but when because of the center left, the lateral spin, it's gonna come off two rails and it's gonna pick up speed off the second rail, which is exactly what you saw there. All right, so that's that's a lesson learned there. All right. So good, so that's out of the way. I'm now going to be playing center right here. So I'm setting the cue ball up. This is my fifth shot. All right, I think I have made what? Um, three out of four predictions, correct? <coughs> so yes. So there I'm predicting that it's gonna hit somewhere near the tangent line, near or thereabout. And then it's going to actually um, widen. It's actually going to widen. The first attempt, um, I didn't hit the cue ball purely. So it went a bit long to the odds of side pocket. There you go. Uh, when I played that shot, I knew something was wrong. I, you can see I looked at myself there. I'm like, nah, I didn't hit the cue ball well enough. So I wanted to give it a second attempt. Gonna autocorrect myself here. 
you will see me do a fist pump because my initial prediction was that the cue ball was going to hit near tangent line then it's going to head towards the second diamond the or dear about and it's going to come in a slightly bit um sharp and here now you're going to see i execute this beautiful shot boom there beautiful now you can see the pureness in that stroke right there i had to give myself a fist pump because my prediction was right and my stroke was right this is what training does for you guys it gives you so much confidence it builds your mental game you have a confidence in what you're doing you see once you know what you're doing then the execution is all that you have to think about but when you don't know what you're doing and you don't know where the cue ball is going bad things can happen so that was really good for me all right so now here i'm going to be playing my six shots so i'm five out of six predictions correct here i'm i just immediately saw that right there that is going to come off above the tangent line and it's going to come in sharply here in fact this is an this is an error in terms of how it's coming off the second reel i thought it was going to come off sharp but in fact it's going to go a little bit long again near the second diamond then it's going to bend in and come towards where the six is currently at so top right here boom there you go and go back to the direction where the six is that felt so good i just gave that one attempt that was that was fantastic all right but what i want to do here is that um even though i played it and i knew it was correct i wanted to do um an auto check a recheck just to make sure that i am good um i did however <laughs> honestly i think i shouldn't actually have done it again because the second attempt just for the recheck i actually missed it right here's where you're gonna learn that you need to always chalk your stick was it that i missed or i snapped okay right i missed i didn't snap i missed so that was just for rechecking really but nothing is wrong with making it the first time and attempting it again and making an error um third time is always a charm so just catch myself there and I'm going to recheck compensating right now it's going to be upright beautiful nice control it's so difficult to play the cue ball with spin and to still maintain control because spin creates angle and it also increases the speed of the cue ball coming off the rails especially off the second rail so that was good I, I, I want to take a moment right now as I walk towards the camera to emphasize that um, training is important, guys. Um, if you're going to take pool seriously, um, you've got to commit yourself 100%. Admitting that you don't know something, <coughs> building yourself, staying focused, um, just learning that everything here is an experience. Alright, so let me just take a moment to say that to you here. So right now what I'm going to be doing here is that I'm going to be playing top left. Alright, so you can see now I'm predicting that the cue ball is going to go just slightly above the tangent line here. So it's going to follow the tangent line for a moment, then it's going to just pick up some top spin. It's going to catch just before the second diamond on the short rail, then it's going to go towards the second rail, um, going a bit long. It's not going to widen as much. Boom. Long like that bends in you can see that cue ball is dancing off the second reel and the first reel that was a beautiful stroke i cannot say anything more about that that's a beautiful stroke all right so that was top left all right um let's get into this here at this point i want to put um well, I should have actually put the cue ball's position, but um, I know you should be able to see it um, throughout the whole video. So, dear, now I'm going to be using bottom right, but I'm going to make a horrible prediction. A horrible prediction. I want to just replay for you um, 
that horrible prediction. Let me just go back here. Right, here we go. So, I actually wanted to go back over that to, sh to, to, to show you how much I've made a incorrect prediction on this. I think I was, I had so much going through my mind at this point where I was learning so much. And here is where I actually um, made a horrible prediction. Horrible prediction. It was really bad, really bad. But, um, yes. Now, that happened simply because um, I I honestly thought that the Cuba was going to go today short rail first, but in fact, it didn't. I think I had so much going in my mind right now that I was learning so much, I didn't even stop to check what I was pointing at. So I pointed at the center, but I totally forgot that. Because I'm playing low, the Cuba is going to pick up this additional draw it's, it's almost like i'm getting a full draw here so i'm not playing i'm not i'm actually not playing stun right i'm playing way below bottom right so that's why the cue ball is about to touch the long reel then the short reel and head towards the other long reel boom boom and so that was what was supposed to happen um when I played it, but I made a horrible prediction. Um, however, this is training, this is not a match, so I have nothing to be ashamed about. And I keep emphasizing to you guys that training is important. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, so I'm about to play. Um, I believe, I think I'm going to play here my second attempt, or was it this bottom left? Let me check here right i'm checking to see right so this is going to be where i'm playing bottom left now bad things are going to happen here for not for one i'm playing additional i'm actually playing draw left here or low left and i wasn't playing my prediction that i pointed at the short reel is actually stun left that's what i predicted but what i actually played was draw left so I put that extra sauce on the cue ball so that's why it headed in the sh long reel then the short reel now because that's what I'm playing and now I made the correction I know that it's going to touch the long reel short reel and come back to the long reel I think it's going to make it's not it's not gonna make, it's, I'm gonna snap right right that's exactly what happened I'm going to snap and that's where you're going to be learning that an important aspect is that after every shot or maybe every two shot, you always chuck your stick. Alright. So many things happen. Um, bad things happen in the last part of the drill. But here is where I think I... I'm not sure if I did it correctly or I had to make a second attempt. Yes, I made it this time. Boom. There, there. You go back there. Now that cue ball looks to be dancing and... Um, it looks like a beautiful shot perhaps to the viewer, but in fact there was some There's a lot of things that didn't go right there because number one Where I predicted is not where I was shooting the cue ball and so right now I'm just Reminiscing on all that I've learned all the wrong predictions all the right ones and I'm just soaking it in And this is what training does for me guys now um, <clears throat> This brings us to the end of this training session drill here and I'm about to close off thank you guys for watching and um, I hope you learned something based on my voice over commentary um, this is what you need to do to become a strong pool player nothing beats practice you can play every day with your friends family your acquaintances but nothing will make you into a stronger player unless you put in the work necessary. You've got to take the time out to analyze your weakness. Accept that you have those weaknesses. Find out a solution to those weaknesses. And then you go on further to 
uh, really, really do your best to improve. It's going to take time. It's going to take effort. It's going to take a lot of focus. And of course, you've got to play matches, competitive matches with respectable players, strong players. Don't put your basket where you cannot reach it, but do set high goals, daily goals um, for yourself when you're training. All right, so that brings us to the end of this session. Um, lots more videos are coming out, training session videos, drill videos, um, basic fundamentals, how to build your game up to the top, advanced shots, bank shots, kick shots, cue balls, position, pattern play, all these things are coming at you guys. So look out for it. I want you to grow with me. And if you want to grow with me, um, you can subscribe to the channel. Uh, if the content, the information, the knowledge was of use to you, you can hit like on the video and of course share it out. Um, definitely. Young pool players, existing players who want to gain some of the knowledge that I have learned and also learn with me as I climb the ladder to the professional scene, uh, you can definitely find me at um, Ward Avenue at the 27 West Pool Hall Lounge and Cafe. And of course, um, my training hours are very, very early in the morning. So um, depending on if you sign up for the Apex Predator League or you come on the Apex brand, then you are eligible to train with me. But join now by subscribing, liking, and sharing the video. And of course, I will see you in the next session. All right? Do take care, guys. Until then, Apex Selenio signing out and saying, study, practice, then play.